All right, uh, a little update on what's been going on. Uh, feels like this car's been out here at Wendell's house for three or four months, and it really only been a couple. Uh, anyway, uh, been kind of a slow process, you know, finding little things wrong with the car here and there, and kind of fixing it as we go. Uh, but anyway, uh, all the brakes are on, new master cylinder, new brake booster. Uh, that was and short of small fiasco, you know. Anything that should not take any time at all has been taking like four hours longer than it should. Uh, but, you know, we're getting it done. Uh, actually, kind of at the point now to where Cam's gonna come out and uh, get my uh, air ride all wired up. Uh, we moved the battery to the back, so I got a new battery box, so we're moving, running wires and everything from the front to the back. Uh, Amazon, I got a couple of things coming from there so I can finish up the wire and get it back here for Cam to do it. Uh, and said the brakes are on. Uh, had to put new studs in the in the axles. Uh, the hatch were about a half inch uh, wider than the original uh, brake setup back here, so there wasn't a whole lot of thread for the wheels. Uh, <clears throat> Didn't really feel all that safe with it, so Wendell was like, yeah, let's go ahead and change the studs out now. So, of course, had to pull the axles all back out for all that. Uh, did that. Uh, air ride, the uh, height sensors are all in. That took a little bit of time. I had to make a phone call to AccuAir over that. Uh, basically, they told me I was overthinking everything, which, that's fine. Uh, I'd rather have it that than, uh, you know, not overthink it and have problems later on. Uh, so I'll give you a little walk around. It's the old brakes, rear brakes and everything. Bag, all the new ride tech suspension and everything. Of course we had to cut the exhaust out of the way because it was going up too far. So that's more stuff we gotta do. Uh, Airlines coming up, going up to the floor. Uh, there's this side, I got a, there was a little bracket right there where that little white spot is. There was a little bracket there that I had to chisel out, so I gotta make a little patch for that. Uh, sensor, wire sensors are going all up in there. Let's go this way so you can see a little bit. Uh, so brackets for the Height sensors. Uh, this is where I was having my major issue. I couldn't figure out if it going this way, you know, so lower control arm's going this way, the sensor arm is going this way, perpendicular with it, and I wasn't sure that was gonna be okay or not. Apparently, according to AccuAir, it was. It was all good. So as long as it had the the full range of motion, that's what they were looking for. So, same thing over there. I had it mounted more back here, uh, past the bag towards the back of the control arm, and that wasn't gonna fly. But, so we got a, a pinion uh, snubber right there. That's gonna be kind of the fail safe for uh, when it goes, compresses completely. The drive shaft actually touches the floor. And uh, yeah, I, I don't need that. So here's the front set up. Uh, here's the wire for the battery for the back. We got it routed up that way, but haven't finished it to the alternator yet, or the starter. Uh, front sensor bracket. I bought these little brackets from uh, these brackets and these brackets. I got them off of uh, Got the brackets off eBay. These, I don't remember where I found them on uh, online. Fairly cheap and made my life a lot easier. But uh, it all controls up, goes good. That wire, the sensor wire is kind of dropped down into a hole right here. So it's not ever gonna be touched because right here, the there's a actual little snubber thing that sits up there so the A-arm does not go any farther and this is completely extended. So there's no way that wire is gonna get touched. Only thing I didn't like about the Ride Tech, these uh, shock waves, 
The air inlet for it is up inside this pocket and it's a little, if I'm gonna have a problem, it's gonna be this. Cause it is fairly close in there to where I don't really like, I don't like it that much, but the air line runs through the frame and I took the air line, I put it, I encased it in rubber. So in case it was touching anything and it runs, it's got about an inch and a half, two inches before it goes in right into the shock. So that's gonna be my thing I'm gonna worry about the most until I drive it a little bit and get comfortable with it, thinking it's gonna be all right. But uh, like I said, all the brakes are on. Drop it down. Get the seat, back seat out of it. There's a wiring freaking nightmare underneath there that somebody's gonna have to take care of. Not gonna be me. I'm probably gonna pull the console out tonight because previous owner had some really cool LEDs in there. There's that wiring nightmare. Oh, so ugly. But new master cylinder, new brake booster, proportioning valve. Uh, put new gaskets on the uh, valve cover gaskets. They were leaking, so been doing little and numerous things. Got this freaking wiring crap. Just used to have an amp and everything underneath there, but just more stuff. There's all the compressors and the AccuAir, the uh, VT tank, uh, water separators up there. Like I said, the airlines and the uh, right height sensors are all coming up through there. This little bracket will sit right there. Got three bolts, it'll st stick right to it. Uh, batteries in the trunk. Like I said, that's, uh, that's where we're at. Stay tuned. trunk's big enough for me and you to get in there. Oh, awesome. So, I'm gonna try to pull it out of there. Uh, well, yeah, hang on. All right, we're out here at Wendell's. We're uh, a little bit of everything going on. Wendell's uh, fabbing up a console for the Nova. I'm uh, out here working on the inside of the doors. I gotta clean up my latches and everything, take those god awful automatic door poppers off. So I'm grinding. Get those things out of the way. Uh, put the prime doors on the other night. That was kind of a feat all by itself. They're all completely empty and gutted. But uh, I'm gonna get all that back together. As you see, the interior still tore apart. And I have somebody in my trunk. Cam's uh, doing some fancy Nancy wiring. How fancy it is, but it's wiring. Do so, you feel like junk in your trunk? I do have junk in my trunk. <laughs> junk, Cam, whatever. I, I, so, I'm fine, it don't bother me. But uh, there's the- I've been this way. So, he's got all this stuff that I'm just staying the hell out of the way because he knows what he's doing and 
I don't. Is that what you think? That, well, <laughs> we're going to use that for an excuse. We'll know for sure when we power it up and we don't let the smoke out. That's yeah, my goal. Smoke. That's I, uh, my goal. We don't want to let the magic smoke. No, no smoke. Yeah. So I did uh, kind of tee off the, the air lines the other night, and uh, I put air to it, so it's actually sitting up at uh, probably a little bit higher than ride height. Uh, but And it's holding everything. Uh, it's actually quite a bit higher than ride height in the front. But, uh, yeah, it looks kind of like the way it did when I bought it. Anyway, so that's what's going on. I'll keep you posted. I've never been so happy to have door handles on a car in all my life. That's roughly what it's going to be like at right height. It may be a little bit different than that, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. So the lift won't go underneath it right now. Kane's been doing his thing. Uh, he had to run off. He had a call, so uh, got to get a couple grounds set up, and then he was ready to start doing some testing. I forgot one of my pieces to uh, the door frame. A little piece of trim that goes here. I forgot it, so I can't. That, that needs to go in before I start putting the wing windows and all the door uh, glass in. So I'm kind of stranded on that deal. I'm probably going to throw the back seat back in it. Uh, I've got everything, all the wires and everything are all taped in all the way up there. That orange one up there is the ignition for the uh, compressors and everything in the back for the air ride. So we're getting closer. Wendell's still over there tinkering on, a, on his console. Trial and error. Trimming to fit, making it all work. Look at him, he's like a carpenter. Almost. <laughs>
Well, this is almost phase one finished. I still have a uh, set of wheels that I need to get for it. But uh, for now, we're gonna call that done for the summer. Uh, Wendell and Cam helped me out greatly. And uh, I took it for about a 20, 25 mile test drive about a week ago before I got it home and then kind of cleaned it all up and everything the other day. Uh, seemed like it drove really good, so I can't really complain. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get new wheels, new tires, so that I'm sure the new tires in the front will definitely help. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at. That is fully aired out right there. When it came out of the garage, that was its, what, AccuAir's ride height said it was, so I'll probably roll like that, maybe a little lower. So, interior cleaned up pretty nice. Got rid of the wood grain steering wheel. So, anyway, that's where we're at.